What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure setup, and it is time for the Elimination Chamber. Alright guys, so we're back at it with a brand new WWE action figure setup, but not only do we have the backstage area completely full, we have the GM's office as always, and I have a treat for you. I have set up the Elimination Chamber over here in the arena, and I don't want to showcase that just yet. I want to keep it back here because I want to get all the lighting over there so it really brings it to life and showcase the Elimination Chamber. A lot of you may have seen the playset on display before, seen it in its full capacity, but if you haven't, man, we are back today with a brand new setup. Elimination Chamber coming up this Saturday. Gonna do my predictions. Gonna try my best to get another Elimination Chamber style video out for you guys, but let's shut the hell up, dive into the Elimination Chamber setup, and explain everything we got going on. So as always, we have to start in the backstage area. We have Edge taking a concerto from Dominic Mysterio. Now this is a nice little detail here. What I've started to do with my Dominic Mysterio is I have taken the Adam Hangman Page bandana from the AEW Unrivaled figure, and I've just been putting it on our Dom. You know, we do have like a black attire basic, but it's not a great Dom figure. You know, I don't think this Dom is, it's obviously not updated to today's standards, but it wasn't the, like it's a solid figure and I like it, but I think that they could do a lot better on the next Dominic Mysterio and I think that the skin tone on this one's off. I think they could do a lot better on him, but anyways, we have a concerto from Dominic Mysterio and the Judgment Day on Edge, but over here we have Beth Phoenix choking out the 2023 Royal Rumble winner Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day. So Damian Priest is obviously in that United States Championship Elimination Champion that's happening in the arena, but the rest of the Judgment Day are taking out Edge and Beth Phoenix, so they're kind of getting into a fight here. I got the custom pissed off Finn Balor shooting Edge right here in the backstage area, so the concerto to Edge has laid him out, and Beth Phoenix doesn't really know because her back is turned, obviously, but she's getting a little bit of comeuppance here on Rhea Ripley as we start off our setup. Now, if we come just beyond that, you guys will see we have MVP opening the back door right there, and Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin are running in to rescue Bobby Lashley, who has just been taken out by Brock Lesnar. So, in this setup, I guess you could say that uh, it's kind of like a, a Mattel mismatch. You know, we, we have the event currently taking place in the arena. So, technically, this is the night of the chamber, but if that were the case, I guess their match hasn't happened yet. I guess he could assault him before their matchup, but I kind of have this as like an Easter egg or a preview that the Hurt Business will return, possibly, and Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander are going to come to the aid of Bobby Lashley and cost Brock Lesnar their matchup at Elimination Chamber. So we do have the three-pack Brock right here in the jeans, the tank top. I got the boots on there from Action Figure Surgery and then if I come right here, I'm going to try my best to get the shot there. Bobby Lashley is in the fetal position just a little bit. He's getting assaulted by the Beast Incarnate and uh, I'm looking forward to this matchup. I'm actually really hyped for the show in general, but I had to have Brock Lesnar beating up on Bobby Lashley. I'm a massive Brock Lesnar guy, but I thought the Hurt Business could kind of return here, help out, come to the aid of Bobby Lashley. I like it here in the setup. If we come to the back corner, we we have Sami Zayn and Jey Uso kind of, uh, you know, having a nice bro moment right here in the back of the setup. We have Kevin Owens over there as well. Sami Zayn going one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns. I am so unbelievably hyped for this matchup. The entire storyline of the bloodline and everything going on. I'm just like everybody else, man. I am all bought in. I'm excited to see what the hell is going to take place. The crowd should be on fire. It should be, be like a damn forest fire out here with the hype that is surrounding this matchup and the crowd and just this matchup is going to be unbelievable and I'm so looking forward to it, but we have Jay kind of backing up Sammy here. I don't know what the hell the dynamics are going to be, man, but I'm just excited, man. I'm just kind of having a little bit of subtlety here in the setup, so we have Jay Uso and Sami Zayn over there. If we come to the middle, we do have the Women's Elimination Chamber kind of breaking out here. We have Carmella slapping the hell out of Liv Morgan there. Nice little fix-up for the Liv Morgan figure there with a head swap on a basic. And then we have this nice sharpshooter pose. I'm actually kind of proud with this. You know, if she had double-jointed arms, this Natalia would be a lot better, but the Natalia applying the sharpshooter to Raquel, and she's got it locked in tight there. So this is kind of a preview of the women's elimination chamber that we have. And then we do have Asuka over here. If you guys can see, she's got the death stare going. I honestly should probably do a custom of her updated look, but this is not too, too far off. You got the nice face makeup, and she's got the death stare on the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca.
Bianca Belair over here on this monitor. I'll move it out of the way here. I have this like old Jax monitor style from the SmackDown stage. And we do have the Raw Women's Champion right here watching her husband perform in the United States Elimination Chamber matchup that I'm going to show you in a moment. She's watching Montez Ford compete in the match. She's smiling big, but she is unaware of the danger that is over her shoulder in Asuka eyeing the Raw Women's Championship. So I think that Asuka is going to capture the championship at Mania. I think she is going to win this matchup at the Elimination Chamber. As you guys can see, she's already laid out Nikki Cross over here. So she's laid out and she has her eyes set on Bianca Belair. So I thought that was a nice little Easter egg, a nice little moment. And I, I like the, the cinematography right there is Chef's Kiss. Coming a little bit beyond that, we do have the injured table or the hospital, you know, stretcher or whatever, the medical area, if you will. We have Randy Orton and AJ Styles chilling, two guys that I really would love to see in WrestleMania season. You know, two massive names that could potentially miss WrestleMania. More than likely going to miss WrestleMania. And it just bums me the hell out. Two of my favorites. Randy Orton's one of my favorites of all time. And AJ Styles missing, man. It just it just sucks, man. So I missed them. I wanted to put them in here. Give them a little tip of the cap, a little nod in the setup. So I am missing them this WrestleMania season. Hopefully they return soon. But Randy Orton and AJ Styles are still not medically cleared as of yet, at least to my knowledge. So we'll have to see about that. But Randy Orton and AJ Styles are represented here in today's setup. And then if we come over here, we do have Gunther or Walter. I still call him Walter, man. I can't get on the Gunther train, even though he's a, he's a beast. He's a goon. He gets the job done. He looks great over here, but he's just in his in his own world over here, man. He's got he's he's just poised. He's ready to go. He's waiting on his WrestleMania opponent for his Intercontinental Championship. So he doesn't have a match at Elimination Chamber, but that doesn't mean anything. He's always ready. He's got his IC title. He's looking good. I love this fix up that we made on Action Figure Surgery again. I think we did this on Surgery. I don't remember the episode, but a beautiful looking updated Walter or Gunther figure, and it looks great. We come over here, man. You guys will see. First off, look at this beautiful J fix up from yesterday's Action Figure Surgery. If you guys missed Action Figure Surgery from yesterday, gotta go check it out. I mean, look at this guy. He's got the drip. He's got the J's on, the black joggers, the jacket, the shirt, the hat, the chain. He is looking ridiculous, but we have the Tribal Chief, and we do have him in his track suit, and we have Cody in his suit, and he is pointing the finger, yelling in his face, ready to go for WrestleMania, man. I am so hyped for this WrestleMania season. Just the whole entire story, whether you include Cody and Sammy, or, or it's just, you know, the stories by themselves, sometimes the obvious is the best in wrestling. So I think that Cody winning the Rumble, I was there front row for it, and it was unbelievable, man. So I'm rooting for Cody all the way. I'm loving this. Can't wait for the matchup, but I just love this visual right here. I think it's great. It speaks volumes. I'm so excited for it, but had to bring that to life in the setup. I don't think Cody will get involved in their match at Elimination Chamber, but he's letting Roman know that he is waiting for him if he indeed does win. Cody does believe in Sammy, but I think that he, he wants to dethrone that Tribal Chief. So Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes are squaring off here in the setup. And that does it for the backstage area, man. What I want to do now is I want to go over to the Elimination Chamber and showcase what's going on over there so you guys can see it in its entirety. All right, man, here we are in the arena. We have the full Elimination Chamber set up here, man. What a beautiful sight. I mean, it just brings me back, man. Memories. Good old Hell's Gate, Brad. Good old Hell's Gate. But we have the Elimination Chamber set up right here. You're probably wondering what the hell Montez Ford's doing right here. Well, I'll get into that in just a moment, all right? You just, you just hold your horses, all right? Over here in the chamber, we have all the combatants. We have Damian Priest, Johnny Organo, Seth Rollins, and we do have Brunson Reed and Theory over here. We have Montez Ford on top of the chamber. We talked about it. Hold your horses. Over here, man, we do have Seth Rollins hitting the stomp. It's a damn motorcycle, bro. Like, good God. We have Seth Rollins hitting the curb stomp on Gargano in the middle of the ring. Great looking shot right there of him getting the stomp in the Elite 99 Rollins. And then we do have Damian Priest laid out. Was going to use the white Damian Priest, like the Royal Rumble Elite, but the reason I'm not is because the purple stands out. If you put the white attire Damian Priest down there, you can't really see it that well. So I, I use the purple version instead. Also, also, the purple looks better for the Judgment Day. Am I right or am I right? If we come over here, you will see Bronson Reed slamming Theory's face into the side of the wall of the chamber. And if we get the outside shot, you guys can see here, again, he is slamming and mushing his face in right there. When you just see six bodies in the ring and they're like kind of spaced out, it really, it looks like it's an empty chamber, but, you know, we have everything here. We even have the U.S. Championship over here. U.S. title on the line. I'm really looking forward to this elimination chamber. I feel like Triple H's fingerprints are all over this match, but you're probably wondering again what's going on with Montez Ford. Well, the reason he's like this is because when you put him like this, he's doing the massive frog splash off the top of the chamber pod, which I'm going to do right now. Perfect execution, Brad. Ah. 
So Montez Ford leaping off the top of the chamber pod. I think that is a spot we are most definitely going to see. I would love to see Seth Rollins and Montez Ford do it. Maybe like a showcase, seeing who can do the better frog splash. But yeah, that, that pretty much wraps up our Elimination Chamber setup. I think my predictions for Elimination Chamber are going to come tomorrow. I'm so excited for the show, man. I cannot stress enough how excited I am. WrestleMania season has really been great so far. Not everything's perfect, but I think it's been really, really great compared to past years, especially recently. But there's the chamber. Here's another shot of it. Didn't put the roof on it who cares and then over here is the rest of the setup i had to move all the lights so that's why it looks a bit bare oh jesus i almost forgot about this spot i had vince mcmahon bishing out the rock in his office because he's like what the hell you're supposed to be at wrestlemania and we got the Sami Zayn guy what the hell's going on you're supposed to be in this spot you're supposed to be fighting the tribal chief and you let me down brad so that's kind of what he's telling him there so vince mcmahon's pissed off at the rock also this figure sucks this hollywood rock i put a good head sculpt on there from the ultimate but uh it's way too short like it just it's way too tiny but look at this figure up here with the the hawaiian shirt on the khaki pants rock kind of looks like a casual chilling at the house rock so i like that but yeah vince mcmahon was ripping him a new one for missing wrestlemania because he really wanted him to be there you know so the part-timers could come in but we have cody and sammy fighting roman reigns and i think that's excellent but that is going to wrap up the setup hope you guys did enjoy leave me your favorite part of the setup down in the comment section below hope you guys are looking forward to elimination chamber stay tuned for some more epic videos man love you guys so very much thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you in the next video have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never be